Hey everybody, the Bond is back. Welcome to part 47 and what could very well be the finale of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. All right, in the last episode, we are made it to the middle of course number three, and I ended in the middle because I didn't want this video to be too long. So now we're on to our fifth duelist, Odeon. Fun fact, in this entire gauntlet, we don't get to face strings, even though he is also an opponent. Like, also a rare hunter, I mean to say. But you will not see him in this gauntlet. After Odeon, it should be Yami Merrick. I mean, that makes the most sense, right? That's probably, like, the least damaging you could have done to me. A oh, Spirit Reaper. We're gonna be doing this song and dance now. Do I really want to go with Graceful Charity now? I'm probably better off just waiting until the next turn. Cause I already got something going now. Nimble Mamanga. And not attacking. That's an odd play. We'll see how it works out. Alright, if we're gonna be having premature burial, I better use Summon Skull to go away. And I'm thinking... Giant Germ. Even though it will cost me my, uh, Maneater Bug, I'm going to get rid of Spirit Reaper. As much as I like to use Premature Burial and get back Summon Skull now, I don't think I should do it. Odeon has really good traps. So let's wait another round. I'll take the damage, I don't care. Nimble Mamanga is not strong. Who knows, that trap could end up being a red herring. Let's see what it is. At least I can reveal it, even if I can't destroy it. Judgment of Anubis. Okay, that was a good call. That was a good call to dump that piece of carbo. Alright, there we go. And now a Voice Raider can come out. I'm not a fan of Odeon getting something he wants out of this. So, you know, let's get rid of Nimble Mamanga twice. Actually, it looks like it's just gonna be once. Unless he sets both of them. Oh! Never mind. I guess he can't just special summon the others. I'm surprised he didn't go for it. DD Warrior Lady. Ugh. That could be a nasty one. I mean, do you really want to stick a trap stick it against a trap master? Something tells me he is that petty. Come on, try something, I dare you. No, he's a coward, that's what he is.
Alright, here's the play. Actually, I was thinking about returning Trap Master so I can reuse its effect. But since you have two monsters, why wouldn't I do this? Okay, we can get rid of Trap Master. Get rid of Penguin Soldier. Hmm. How many fiends do I have in the grave? I don't know how many fiends I have in the grave. Let me cancel my uh, summon there. One. That won't be enough. Yeah, I'll just go ahead with the obelisk play anyway. Wait, if Obelisk and Summon Skull both attack, Odeon is done! I just gotta hope he doesn't have something like Mirror Force. There's no way of knowing that just from Obelisk, though. You could use it on Summon Skull. And he doesn't. Oh, wow. I might get through this gauntlet faster than I thought. I only split the vid- split, like, the gauntlet in two videos just for sake of time. And suspense. But now I finally made it to Yami Merrick already! Now, does he still have his Egyptian God card? It looks like he does. But at least now I don't have to beat him with mine. I can just go ahead and uh, stick him with any card. Well, this is not great, but I'll take it. Ah, uh, here come the Slate Warriors. You knew they were coming, right? Huh. Here they come. Send in the Slate Warriors. And I'll send in my Cyber Jar. You think I'm worried about that? Solemn wishes? Alright, I guess I'll just destroy your other card. Whatever that may be. Ultimate offering. So you know what? I'm glad I did that. So this is in the event my uh, Cyber Jar play ends up horrible and his turns out great. Oh, 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 Merrick, how could you be so greedy? Oh no, I feel so bad for you. Goodbye. Spirit Reaper. Okay. Sakuretsu Armor. Not okay. Visor Desk. Whatever. Dust Tornado. Annoying. Premature Burial. Could be nasty. Giant Germ. Okay. I'll take that. Hot Agreed. Whatever. Lightning Vortex. Okay. Magic Jammer. Okay. Called Audit. Can I play Torrential Tribute now? No. Doesn't work that way. I don't think you can just play Torrential Tribute right after, like, Cyber Jar. Don't think it works like that. Oh, I'm gonna have way too many cards. This could be a disaster. Oh yeah, this is a bona fide disaster right here. Look at this.
do I really want to use Heavy Storm now? That's the million dollar question. Okay. You know what? Let's use Heavy Storm now. I'll lose my Torrential Tribute, but he'll lose everything else. Including that Sakuretsu armor. Yep, I knew that was coming. We'll play Swords of Revealing Light. Because that'll reveal the other card. Which will then allow me to use, like, Vortex to pretty much destroy whatever. Hmm. What do I get rid of, though? Oh, this is a tough call. It pains me to say it, but I'm going to say Barrel Dragon. Oh, right, I have called a Haunted, that's why. Okay, that's not a hard decision to make. Alright, then we'll use United We Stand. And I'm gonna use it on Nudoria. Why? Because if Giant Germ gets destroyed by some divine intervention and in battle, like, say, maybe Swords of the Light's gone, then I get two more. Plus, I get to call the Haunted later. Oh my god, this video might end pretty fast, like maybe around 15 minutes. At least we don't get to see him use raw. Snatch steal? Oh no, you ain't doing that. You know, let's get rid of Obelisk. Premature Burial? Gets to bring something back anyway. Alright, well if you're gonna do that, allow me to do this. Personally, I would have much preferred to just use Call the Haunted on Obelisk. But I don't think I'm going to have that option now. Now I just got to hope Barrel Dragon connects on this. Three Tails! Just my luck. There, maximize the damage output. That's how you do it. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a Sangin? Oh, we won! That's it, we won! Merrick does not have a Karibo. Okay. I mean, if he had a Karibo, he might have had a chance. But he's got no chance. It's over! Wow, the two combined videos? I might have took around less than 50 minutes. Still over 40, though. So I think it was in the best interest to split it that way. Could have sacrificed two monsters to destroy everything. You received 600 KC points. And the deck recipe for Course 3. And that's it, there are no more new challenges. So that's pretty much all the post game, by the way. Let's look at Recipe Viewer by any chance. Now keep in mind, like, I didn't get every single thing in the game, but I'm not looking to do that. Okay, one missing Exodia Necros, three Kikus I don't have, one Slave Warrior I don't have. 
and one whatever the hell that is. Now, I think if you get to level 23, you will get an email that tells you certain passwords. I think you have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see them. Okay, I guess you only see one for now. Maybe you'll see the other one tomorrow. One of the passwords will give you the credits again. And then you might get another password that gives you a sound test. The thing is, if you do use it up, you will get refunded the points from what I heard. So, yeah. I guess the only thing you can do now is maybe register the people you didn't have registered. And then you can probably take a look at oh, what cards are missing. Things like that. There's nothing left to the story now. Maybe you want to challenge the uh, dual courses again? That's your choice. But anyway, I think that's it. That's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour for the Nintendo DS. So what did you guys think of this game overall? I'm sure, like, a lot of people really loved it because I pretty much catapulted views just from that one project alone. So yeah, that's how my record looks. Seems I'm still missing one opponent, though. It's not strings. I bought strings. Maybe you could have fought regular Merrick? I don't remember. But in any case, it doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna waste my time looking for one opponent. It could very well just be regular Merrick. But anyway, yeah. I thought this game was really good. Like, there was a lot of work to it, but at the same time, it was fun. I mean, sure, the day and night system felt a little restrictive for when you could be placing duelists, but at the end of the day, there were some games that were a little bit more restrictive. I think GX Duel Academy just did it a little bit of an annoying way, but it is what it is. So what's my next Let's Play after that? Well, I haven't decided yet, but I did pull people on social media, and I have, like, a couple games decided out of, like, well, I'm gonna be picking one out of a few. But in any case, you'll just have to wait and see. I might have it in the description of this video, who knows. So anyway, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I shall see you next time.